Yeah, that makes sense. Good afternoon. Hello. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we've just come from lunch with our friend Sam. I say our, I mean I knew her. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. she's my friend. More but your given friend. she was talking to Katie for a while, then it's our friend. Well, See? well We're a couple now, so we share all our friends. Yeah? <laughs> this is the very questioning bridge. Where are you going? Good question, Bridge. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're actually just going over there. Over there? Well, no, not over there. That's where the Odeon is. You don't want to go to the movies? No, not right now. Not in that Odeon. Apparently that Odeon is the most expensive in the county. Most expensive cinema in the county. Eight pounds for a regular ticket. Eight pounds doesn't sound that yeah. bad to me. Outside the bridge. Very questioning. Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Slug and lettuce. Yeah. That's such a bad thing. Key. Let me show you this. Still got this key that I mean to give back. Where's the key? You have the key. You have the key? I don't have the key. Yeah, this key I've had on me for a little too long. It goes to one of the production offices in there. And I've got to give the big cheese to Sarah FM the key back. I also got to find this Andrew David. Also, because you left this city quite a long time ago. Yeah. Um, Last year. Eight months ago. Last June. <laughs> so it was last <laughs> July. <laughs> See, it's February now. July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, seven months ago, I left the city. And I still haven't given the key back, which is a little unfortunate. Eight right. months as it will be tomorrow. Hey, oh. Why yeah. is it? Is it Sorry? It's well, it's the 27th of February. And it's 2012, so we've got two more days in February. And then it's March, which means which means one fantastic thing in March: pigeon mating season. <laughs> oh, of course, pigeon mating season every year. It's a good year. Can't get better than pigeon mating season. All the pigeons are pruning themselves, making themselves look good. Like, oh yes, I look I look so great. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. I've always been kind of jealous of this island right in the middle of the Brayford. Let me see if I can just zoom in here. Oh, this one thinks it's getting some bread. See this island over here? Yeah. This is like Swan Island. Apparently, um, there's treasure buried under there. Yeah, actual treasure under that island. And the only people that can get to it are the swans and obviously people in boats. <laughs> But if you're feeling adventurous and you want to get some treasure, it's underneath underneath that island in Lincoln. Also as a swan. See, look at this. This is the uh, awkward duck date. Let's see, which one? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're not liking this. Let's uh, zoom in here. See, I'm a little confused. I think the two guys are out being friends and stuff. And the lass is... Uh-oh. Uh What's going on there? Oh, he's on his own! Oh, he wanted some action. Well, thing. Doesn't know where to go. She was too overwhelmed. Oh, oh, oh. oh is, he, is he flying? Are you going to fly? Come on. Oh, oh. That's probably why I didn't join them. Not good. Not, a, not good at flying. Yeah? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, that one looks evil. See the way this one's just looking at the rest? Oh, they scare me when they do that. See that one? That yeah, it's just looking at these two. 
You looking at me? Who else am I looking at? I see no one else around. Well then I'm looking at you. You got any bread? I've eaten no, it. I don't have bread. Any other ones like what? I got an indoor cat. I just saw I think a terrace house where we live where there's tons of cats everywhere. It would get bullied. And it could get run over by cars. You're saying if we had a cat in our house. If we, it would get bullied by the other cats. If we had a cat and then we let it outside on the street where there's a bunch of other cats, there's tons of other cats, it would get bullied. Because so, it probably would pick the three-legged one-eyed cat at the shelter and it would get bullied by the other cats. Because they'd be like, we don't even have three legs. So we'd have to keep it inside, yeah? So I'd keep it inside and so have a little, little letter box. We we'll take a look at this cat, right? The cat on here. Okay. It's a bit scared. It looks scared. It's like frightened. I mean, there's a better picture here. Same cat. The cat looks really scared. It's like, oh. The potty really is scary. I remember when I was potty training when I was like two or three. Yeah, it was scary, right? So you can you can relate to the <laughs> you can relate to the cat. Yeah, but I don't I don't actually remember potty training. I do love these though, right? Look at these. See these? These are rubber eggs. The idea is you put them in a chicken hutch, chicken pen, or whatever they're called, and uh, encourages hens to lay more eggs. So it's like, uh, oh yeah, uh, I've already, already laid these eggs, uh, I should lay some more to go with it. That sort of thing. That's quite crafty. That's quite a good idea. So what's, what's tempting your fancy there, my love? I want to get a ah! and roll it around the house. You want to like have a hamster the rolling idea around of the house. Those are for them to roll themselves around. That'd be mean. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So, on a British high street such as Lincoln, you always seem to have the same sort of things. Like, really, I'm not kidding. Every high street has your cell phone stores and your banks, and, but they all have a Boots, which is that one right there. They all have like a River Island. They all have a Next. They all have the same stores. They just look slightly different. It's like deceptive. It's like you think you're going somewhere to another town, but you're not because you can get the same thing at your old, <laughs> your old town. I think it's so weird how it just everything the same, same stores, the same shops. They all have an HMV. Actually, a lot of them have spec savers. <laughs> <laughs> and a Holland and Barrett. I mean, they all have the same stores, don't they? Yes, I agree with that. In fact, oh look at Greg's. Just to prove my point even further, a bakery. I was just about to make a point of my own. Oh, sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter because I've gone forgotten what the point was. <sighs> I'm just getting distracted by Greg's. Huh? But I mean, the only thing that makes towns different is the fact that you can look church there and they all they look different but it's the same shops you're going to another town for that is quite interesting i did not realize that before i moved here mm. and that's lincoln i don't know we might go it's kind of raining it's a uh, the air is wet i don't know if that means it's raining yeah it is there's water falling from the sky <laughs> that means it's raining not but not really. Not enough to be like, oh, I need an umbrella. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah, I do need an umbrella. I, I put a lot of work into my hair and it's getting wet. Well, the person who cut your hair put a lot of work in your hair. Yeah, well, he's probably feeling really bad right now. Sad that. Counting his money. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel really bad about that guy's hair. Hey. No. We can go get our bags. Yeah, we got to get them back from the university. Bags we left at... at the radio station, Siren FM, at the University of London. So we left the bag. I used to work there, so I know people. Okay. Hey. Yes, we are on our first train back. Got pink bags. I don't know why I'm whispering. They're glorious. The whispering you can hear. I'm in awe. In all, I just I really like those. Yeah. Are you telling people? Yeah. 
They're hard to get. You have to like search out for them. Yeah. Wilkinsons. Yeah, but there's no Wilkinsons in New York. And there is. Ah. Clifton Mall. Oh well, that's a little bit of a walk for me. <laughs> it's just a, a little, just a little bit out of town. Dom's shoes. Dom got some shoes finally. They won't focus. We did not spend that. We got them for a nice bargain. We got them 32. And I got some movies. Those little collection one. I've seen all of these, but I like having them. Plus, Dom hasn't seen any of them, so that's all fun and games. <laughs> Watch in the night and go. I don't feel like like soup. I'm in the mood for soup because of how nasty it is outside now. It's raining good now. It's raining good. <laughs> it is. It's raining like legitimately raining out, not just like wet air. Am I even in the rain? Doors are closing, beautiful. What about the sound? Sorry? <laughs> what? You look really nervous. Like the train's scary. Hold on, everybody. home and watched the DVD. Why are you pointing to that? It's not actually watched the DVD on my computer. <laughs> See, it's, it's very easy when you have a netbook. This Pinterest. Is something, this is something I, I think people should try and accessorize with. Right? If you have a netbook, you can be all like this. Really? C who does that? Models in business magazines. Yeah, Models me. for a business magazine. Yes, because it's a big deal in that. It's a big, big trade. I'd like, I'd like somebody who looks good in a suit. I'll just sell <laughs> my stocks in um, Enron. Yeah, I've been meaning to do that for the past couple of years. Well, I should have done that a long time ago. There we go, and sorted. Yeah. So that's how people in business magazines do their, their modelling. In all my life, this is the first Valentine's card I've ever received, and it was obviously from Catherine. I know, but it makes me feel really bad that I didn't get you one last year. Ah, it's alright. I, I got you a plastic rose. I had a bum leg last year. That's true. So then I did my leg in. Mm. Not fun. Yeah. And I got you a plastic rose. So <laughs> it wasn't exactly um, the top romance so far as Valentine's Day goes, but I thought last Valentine's Day went pretty well as well. Actually, last Valentine's Day was the first Valentine's Day I had a date. On Valentine's Day as well. <laughs> so, you know, it takes it in stages. Yeah. But so far as this colour goes, this is from uh, Katie's grandmother's. Uh, uh, um, grandma. I have one, yes. <laughs> Grandmother and grandfather. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like uh, looks like your average card. I know. Uh, everyone wants to be your Valentine. Okay, right, yeah, that's fine, that's everyone fine. Everyone wants to be your Valentine. So you're like, okay, let's, uh, yeah. let's see, let's see who it's from. Who wants to be my Valentine? Be my dad, Oh, it's a talking I car. <laughs> I was here first. That doesn't make any difference. You always say that. No, and no. I told you <laughs> that I could be first. Oh, that's your answer to everything. Oh, no. And if you want to shut them up. I should just shut it. I don't think there's ever been a card that makes me feel bad about closing it. Um, until uh, that one, obviously. <laughs> hey ho. I'd say it's quite a successful Valentine's Day, wouldn't you? A long time ago, but yes. And I got this from Catherine. A list of reasons why she loves me. Yep, in a picture frame. Yep, because, because I need a list in case I forget some of them. I told you, that's why. Exactly. In case you forget. That's a good, that's a good reason, I think. So I keep it on my desk. <laughs> <That's my desk. laughs> yeah. But it's not an ex exhaustive list. It's no. quite it's quite short. Although coincidentally enough, we both ended up giving Valentine's Day gifts 
It's very it's similar. In a very similar way. Yeah. My present to Catherine was very similar to Catherine's present to me. I think that foreshadows some sort of memory synchronization thing. What? Yeah. Foreshadowing, like, like it's gonna happen like next week? Yeah. It's like this is the start. And then in a couple of months, we're just uh, literally going to be thinking the same thing. We're actually going to be finishing each other's sentences. Okay. So you'll say, I want to go to, and I'll finish it with Pizza Hut. Oh, this is something else I did on Valentine's Day as well. Yeah, 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 something else I did on Valentine's Day. Let me show you the door, right? <laughs> See? See, it says on the door, right? That's what I did for Catherine on Valentine's Day. I wrote these notes and put them around the house. So there's one on the door, right? Um... I put one in a laptop, which is obviously over there. I'll just turn the kitchen light on. Uh, yeah, in the cupboard. In <laughs> the messy cupboard. Yep. Um, in the fridge. In the fridge. <laughs> yep. Oh, let me show you this as well. French dressing. That's what I like to have on, on chips slash fries, depending on whereabouts you are. And that was in the bathroom, uh, but I put it in this cupboard because it got it started getting a bit damp. You see how that's curling over? It's because it's a bit damp in the bathroom. Yeah, so that's what I did. I was quite pleased with that. Are you covering your face with your hair, my love? Mm -hmm. My hair. Sometimes when I have my hair up, like, it starts to make my scalp pert. Like, the little hairs pull up my scalp and it feels... Closer. It's because you have too much hair. It's, it's it weighing is, the rest of you down. It is really heavy, my hair. So I have to like get the bun just right. It's really <laughs> irritating and I look kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Makes your head hurt. Hair that is long. Makes Maybe it's hurt. all these thoughts that you have as well. Because you're thinking about stuff all the time. Yeah. Like it's too much. <laughs> like I have a brain too much and it hair. works. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what that's like? I don't think you do. Having a brain that works. I don't think you know what that's like. No, I actually don't. <laughs> oh. Confusing it with intro. Yeah. I'm just gonna do my Pinterest. Has anybody else gotten onto that? Because I don't know what to use it for really, other than like, yes, I like that that living room design because because it's brilliant. Because that's no, mostly fun. I pick it because it has books or something in it, like That's book sh bookshelves. I like bookshelves and Do stuff. Do they have any with like pizza shelves to shelve all no, your favourite pizzas? There are no pizzas in living rooms. That's for the dining That's room. That's missing out. That's what's missing out. Pizza um, shelves. But other than that, I don't, I don't have like a wedding to plan or a baby to have like. All right, all right. First things first, beautiful. No, because that's what girls do on Pinterest. They're like, "Ooh, that is a good idea for my future children," and it's just kind of awkward. It's awkward when they don't have children. I think that's the most awkward. Part. I feel like most girls are planning their wedding and they don't have a boyfriend, and they're like looking at parenting advice and stuff like that, and they don't have kids, let alone a boyfriend, and so it's. It's kind of awkward sometimes, Pinterest, but there's a lot of good stuff on there. Um, but yeah, no, it's late, and oh, that's no, what you 20 do. Twenty to ten. Twenty to ten is is late, and I'm going to retire for oh, the retire. evening. Oh, retire! Very upscale language there. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, you've got work in the morning. So, good night.